Hello everybody, welcome to this session. The objective of this session is to see how to confirm a transfer order with differences. Now when I say with difference, that means that, say for example, if your line item in a transfer order says that you need to receive uh, X quantity of material Y, then in that case, uh, some of them seems to be damaged and you do not want to receive those damaged. Let's say 10% of it is damaged. So as a whole, uh, X quantity minus 10% or Y percent or 10% of the X quantity that should be the total quantity that should be received. So for example, let's pick up one of the example. Uh, let's go to 21. Uh, take some. Okay, I will take this. Oh, this is does not exist. Okay, I think maybe some one is existing. Yeah, this one is existing. Here it's already confirmed. I think uh, one one three, and this one is also confirmed. One one five. It does not exist. One one zero. It's all confirmed. Let's go to LT twenty two and see if there is any trans open transfer order for this warehouse. I hope we find some. Okay, so we are lucky we have got one. Seventy two is there, which is having one. So let's open seventy. Two transfer order number seventy two, so LT twenty one zero seven two. Now here you can see that this is a transfer order where it is for five cars. Okay, and now um, let's say that out of five cars, we were supposed to receive five cars, but we have received two cars in damaged condition, and we have received only three cars in appropriate uh, condition. I mean the condition in which we should receive it. So if in that case, we would be receiving only three out of these five quantity and we would be not receiving the rest of the two. Now, the moment when you confirm only a portion of the transfer or transfer order quantity, automatically the rest of them, they will become an open quantity. Okay, now if this is against a purchase order, that much quantity would be open in purchase order and you can create one more transfer order with respect to that purchase order and you can again receive them. Okay, now let's try receiving that. So I'm going into LT12. Okay, let's keep this open as it is and open that in a new window. LT12, that is a transaction code to confirm. Now I'm going inside. Okay, here you can see that it says target quantity is 5 and five quantity is going to be in this bin. But I say that I'm going to receive only three quantity. Now for that, what I need to do is, you can see here small button, and on top of it, there's something like D. This means difference. The moment I check this, and I say confirm internally, there would be one more pop-up box which would open up asking for, how would you like to receive the quantity? You can see here, now here it talks about that how much quantity we are going to receive now there are certain options you can see here now it says enter difference quantities manually or difference quantity is difference between actual and target quantity or actual quantity is balance of the target quantity or the difference quantity or target quantity is equal to actual quantity so you can pick up any one of them based on your business need so let's pick up one so i say that enter difference quantities manually now here, I'm going to enter the difference quantities manually and actual quantities manually. So I will say three I'm going to receive. Now even if you do not give automatically, it should, yeah, two, sorry. Yeah, now here you can see the difference quantity is two and it's going to, so it's type triple nine. Okay, now I say confirm difference. And then now I'm going to say just confirm. So this one is saved now. So this transfer order is saved now. And now if you look at, now the moment when I refresh this, when I go out and I come back and here, this will say confirmation is done. But here there will be an equal to checkbox with a line across 
that is a strike across which will say that it is not the complete quantity that you have received and it will say that here how much is the actual quantity that we have received and how much is the difference quantity so here it should difference quantity it should say 2 and then here it should say target quantity is 5 and actual quantity is 3 so let's go out let's come back in now you can see here it says that this confirmed word difference right so you can see equal to sign with the strike across now here you can see that destination quantity is 3 only reason link we have a difference quantity of 2 target quantity is 5 it was actually but actual quantity we have taken into consideration is 3 so we are receiving only 3 so this is how you will be uh, doing you will be confirming a transfer order with differences thank you so much for watching this video have a great day in the upcoming videos we would be uh, doing a lot more please do appreciate my video if in case you like it and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much